Hello viewers, in this video we are going to see about UGC NET exam paper 1 syllabus characteristics of learners from unit 1. This video presented by Rayan Publishers, publishing your passion. First, we are going to see about what is learning. Learning can be defined as a relatively permanent change in behavior that occurs as a result of experience and practice. The occurred change must be relatively permanent which means the learned response must last for a fairly long time. Learning is a key concept in human behavioral change. It influences the acquisition of information, attitudes, beliefs, goals, achievements, failures, behavior and even personality traits. Definition of learning Various psychologists and educationalists also define the concept of learning like learning as a process. Hilgard, an exponent in the field of learning says, Learning is the process by which an activity originates or is changed through training procedures. Learning as a change in performance. Walker E.L. considers learning as a relatively permanent change in performance that occurs as a result of experience and is not attributable to maturation, fatigue or motivation. Learning as acquisition and retention. Crow and Crow opine. Learning involves the acquisition of habits, knowledge and attitudes. Skinner also includes learning as both acquisition and retention. Types of learning Conditioning learning When we learn to make a particular response or a group of responses, it is called response learning. Response learning could be single or multiple response learning. When an individual learns a single response associated with a specific stimulus or stimulus situation, it is conditioning learning. Here are subdivisions of conditioning learning. Classical conditioning, apparent learning, aversive conditioning. Motor learning. It is also known as psychomotor learning or skill learning. This includes all kinds of things people learn to do, such as eating with a spoon or fork, swimming, typewriting, drives a car, etc. Learning of such skills depend upon maturity, sensory motor coordination, and integration of responses related to the intent and skill learned at initial preliminary stages. Discrimination learning The general feature of this type of learning is that the subject has to differentiate between the two stimuli which occurs simultaneously or in close sequence. For example, differentiation between mother and a stranger, a dog and a doll, a taste of foods. Three important situations of discrimination learning are incidental learning, probability learning, reversal learning. Verbal learning. It is the most important kind of learning for human being because it involves words and formal education situations and even the most informal learning involved children and adults occur by the verbal route. It also provides an important link between elementary non-verbal learning processes and learning of language and thoughts. Problem solving. This is the highest level of learning. Everyone very occasionally can solving their problems by more assessment and error method. They make use of prior verbal learning. They evaluate the whole situation, employ verbal reasoning and sometimes also use trial and error activity and ultimately some solution to the problem is found out. Gestalt, a psychologist, have made a series of experiments in this direction. Next, we are going to see about learners. Who are learners? Learner is someone who are consistently learning something. A learner is anyone who is embracing a new way of thinking. Anyone who is engaging reflect their thinking into new information will be considered as learner. Learning strongly based on intellectual level cognitive ability, perception, personality and attitude of learner. Modification of behavior is the most appropriate meaning of the learning. Characteristics of learners Learner characteristics are differences between students. These differences influence the student's attitude towards learning and also how they learn. It also influences how the student responds to different styles of teaching and approaches in the classroom as well as how are otherwise successful they are at learning the language. Some of the characteristics of learners are personal, academic, social and emotional, cognitive, learning strategies, learner style, instructional relevance, learning challenges, emotional intelligence, instructional rigor and students engagement, classroom assessment and reflection, 
classroom environment, knowledge content, internal motivation of learners. Personal characteristics often relate to demographic information such as age, gender, maturation, language, social, economic, cultural background. It also includes specific needs of your leader group such as particular skills and disabilities for empowerments to learning. Academic characteristics. Academic characteristics are more education or learning related such as learning goals of an individual or a group, prior knowledge, educational type, educational level. Social and emotional characteristics related to the group are individual with respect to the group, such as group structure, pace of individual within group, sociability, self-image, feeling of self-efficiency and more, etc. Cognitive characteristics relate to such things as attention span, memory, mental procedures and intellectual skills which determine how the learner perceives, remembers things, solves problems, organizes and represents information in their brain. Learning styles A person's learning styles affects how that person likes to learn and how students learn best. According to expert suggestions, there are several different ways of classifying learning styles regarding physical sense that we like to use in order to learn. Method we use to interact with others, our style of thinking. Using different learning techniques, students would naturally take in process and remember information and skills. Students may always change or develop their learning styles often. Learning strategies. Learning strategies are the methods students choose and use to learn. Use of the correct strategy at the appropriate time can aid to learn the subject matter better and also make the learner as more independent learners. Different learners use different strategies. According to experts, the strategies that are used by students most successfully are dependent on the student's personality and learning style. Therefore, it means that there are no strategies to be considered best. And conclude with research, use of strategies is sure to make the learning more successful and that students can be trained to use them. Some learning strategies like repeating the topic that are new to you over and over until understanding the concept. Always search meaning of words that are unknown to you. Making a recording of yourself speaking, then listening to it and analyzing and correcting your pronunciation. Experimenting and taking risk by using the subject matter that you have just learnt it and discuss with others. Asking the teachers or friends or classmates to give you their opinions about how well you use your ability. Recognizing which area of subject that you need to learn or practice and then learning it. Instructional relevance. Learners should possess and respond to meaningful questions. Learners uses appropriate tools and techniques to gather, analyze and interpret information from quantitative and qualitative evidence. They can develop descriptions, explanations, predictions and models using verification. Learners work collaboratively to address complex authentic problems which require innovative approaches to solve. Learners communicate knowledge and understanding in a variety of real-world forms and for a variety of purposes. Instructional rigor and learners' engagement. Student articulates and understands learning intentions or targets and criteria for success. Student reads with understanding a variety of texts. Student applies and refines inquiry skills. Classroom assessment and reflection. Recognizes profession which works like and determines steps necessary for improving their work. Monitors progress toward reaching learning targets. Develops and uses scoring guides periodically to access their own work or that of peers. Uses teacher and peer feedback to improve work. Reflects on work and makes adjustments as learning occurs. Internal motivation of learners. Learners should need to have internal motivation through gaining autonomy and building intention. Gaining autonomy. Control is important in motivating students to engage. Autonomy provides students the opportunity to lead their learning. Adding autonomy gives students the ability to fit what is being learned with their understanding of the world. Building intention. Intention provides students with a reason to engage and learn. Students need to feel like they are working towards something worthwhile and are doing something important. Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the capability of individual 
to recognize their own and others emotion discern between different feelings and label them appropriately and by using emotional information guide thinking and behavior and adjust emotions to adapt to the environments or to achieve one's goal learning challenges in learning student need to push through challenges during the process of learning student may experience a variety of cognitive motivational or affective challenges that affect their learning the three areas are interrelated and many challenges students face during learning stem from an interaction of cognitive motivational or affective and social factors students will enter the classroom with prior knowledge or experiences and learning strategies and this combined with experiences in the current classroom dynamics may affect their motivation to learn classroom environment accepts responsibility for their own learning actively participates and is authentically engaged collaborates with other students exhibits a sense of accomplishment and confidence takes educational risk in classroom practices and engages in safe responsible and ethical use of technology knowledge of content learners demonstrates their growth in content knowledge they need to use and seeks to expand appropriate content vocabulary they connects ideas across content areas learner need to use ideas in realistic problem solving situations conclusion the capacity to learn is a gift The ability to learn is a skill. The willingness to learn is a choice. These are words of Brian Herbert. So, if you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. Hence, whatever the way of characteristics, style or strategies may be used in learning. But never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Thank you viewers for watching the video. For more videos, stay connected with Rayon Publishers. Like, share, comment and subscribe Rayon Publisher. Publishing your passion. Thank you.